Good morning all, I am S. Ranjita, working as an assistant professor in PG department of mathematics and today we are going to see the topics about the fundamentals of differential equation and its applications. Here, these are all the contents we are going to see this in, video, in this video. First one is uh, innovations of uh, differential equation, how it is innovated from uh, the from our day to day life and what is differential equation, why we need that and the classifications of differential equations based on linearity order and types and methods of and techniques which are there for solving this differential equations and some of the examples regarding this differential equations and applications the tools for solving this differential equation what are differential equations uh, there are many other type uh, types of systems can be modeled by this differential equations uh, by using the concepts of rate of change of phenomena for example the acceleration of a car the population increases and the chemical changes of some kind of the chemicals and the locus of a football these are all the uh, these above behavior can be captured by a very uh, small differential equations okay uh, innovations of differential equation who found this differential equations the invention of differential equation first of all uh, the english versus isaac newton and the german mathematician gottfried leibniz has found this differential equations and they need these differential equations in our day to day life the history of the subject of differential equation which is in concise form from a synopsis of the recent article the history of differential equations okay uh, this differential equations which uh, begins with the lebanans the bernoulli brothers and others from the 1680s uh, not long after the newton's okay uh, slope and rate of change we know that we can find a slope at a particular point uh, we can find a average slope between the two points okay but how do we find a a slope at a point but with derivative we can use a small changes in at a point Sorry. slope is equal to the change in y and the changes in x slope and rate of change uh, normally we can find the slope between the two points okay but how can we find a slope uh, at a point but using the derivatives we can find a small difference from the uh, in the points using these derivatives for example slope which is equal to the changes in y which is divided by the changes in x that means del y divided by del x so differential equation so what is differential equation normally we know that an equation which contains the derivative of one or more dependent variables with respect to one or more independent variables here the dy uh, here the y variable y is an dependent variable which depends the variable on x so here x is an independent variable so consider these examples these are the examples for the differential equations so here uh, y double dash plus y dash minus 2y which is equal to 3. So here this y dash and y double dash are in the de sorry uh, derivative form and d squared y by dx squared plus dy by dx minus 2y which is equal to 3 and here these derivatives are in the differential form. But consider this equation y power 2 plus y inverse minus 2y which is equal to 3. In this equation we did not have any differential terms or derivatives on so this is not an differential equation. So classification, uh, differential equations are ca classified by these three types, first one is type and the second one is order and the third one is linearity, okay. Uh, by the type, classi uh, type, differential equations can be classified as ordinary differential equation and partial differential equation, okay. First one is ordinary differential equation what is ordinary differential equation here see this example uh, in this example dy by dx plus 9y which is equal to 2 here we are having the dependent variable which is y which depends on the variable x so here there is only one independent variable okay so this equation is known as ordinary differential equation in short form we can call this as ode okay consider this party uh, partial differential equation 
consider these examples uh, dou u by dou x which is equal to minus dou v by dou y. Here we are having more than one independent variables. Uh, here x and y are two independent variables and u and v are dependent variables. If there is uh, one or more independent variables we can uh, say, uh, say that this equation has a partial differential equation. Okay, classification by order. So, con this is a general form of an nth order ordinary differential equation. So, consider this example uh, y dash minus y is equal to 2x and the order of this differential equation is 1. So, we can say this differential equation as first order differential equation and here 3y double dash plus 2y dash minus y which is equal to x. Here the different uh, differential term or else uh, the derivative term which contains the order as 2. So, this equation is known as the higher order differential equation. Okay, linear differential equation if the order and the degree of the differential equation is 1 then it is known as linear differential equation. If the order and degree is more than 1, uh, more than one then the differential equation can called as non-linear differential equation. Okay, these are all the concepts we are uh, going to see. Differential equation is classified as ordinary and poly, uh, partial differential equation. Ordinary differential equation can be classified as first order and higher order and linear and non-linear, homogeneous and non-homogeneous. Okay, what is homogeneous differential equation? If there is no constants or functions of x on the right side, then the equation can called as homogeneous equation. Okay, uh, consider this example 2y double dash minus y which is equal to 4. Here we are having the uh, non-homogeneous equation. Okay. Differential equation with constant coefficients. If a differential equations having the coefficient only in constant, then it is uh, differential equation with constant coefficient. Consider this example 5y double dash minus 4y dash plus y dash minus 3, which is equal to x. Here the derivative terms contains only the 5 minus 4 plus 1 and minus 3 as a coefficients. Then it is differential equation with constant coefficient. Differential equation with variable coefficients. Consider this example. Here the term y double dash having the coefficient as 3x and the y dash having the coefficient as e power x minus 1 and the in this differential equation we are having the coefficients as in variable form. So, this has the coefficients in variables. Okay, these are all some of the methods and techniques for solving this differential equation which is variable separable form, homogeneous differential equation by suitable substitution, exact differential equations by using integrating factor, linear differential equation by suitable uh, substitution and Bernoulli's differential equation, reduction of order, variation of, uh, variation of parameters and the solution of non-homogeneous linear differential equations. Okay. Examples of PDE. PDEs are used in mod, uh, to model many system in science and engineering. These are all important examples in PDE in our day to day life. Laplace equation, heat equation and finally the wave equation. These are all some of the exa examples in the PDA also. Uh, create, this is used for creating softwares which constrain logic programming, creating games, aspects of algorithms, uh, in nature, boards, artifi artificial intelligence, networking and theories and explanations. These are all some of the extra applications of differential equation. Uh, Newton's law of cooling, electrical circuits, modeling free mechanical oscillations, modeling forced mechanical oscillations and computer exercise or activity. One of the application in ODE. So, we know that right uh, Newton's law. What is Newton's law? The rate of cooling of a body which is proportional to the difference between its temperature and the temperature of the surrounding air. Okay, based on this Newton's law, we are going to see an example. So, consider the problem here. In a certain uh, house, a police were called about at 3.45 am, right? So, where a murder victim was found. The police took the temperature body 
which was found to be 34.5 degree celsius after one hour police again took the temperature of the body which was found to be 33.9 degree celsius the temperature of the room was 15 degree celsius so what is the murder time so by using the differential equations we can find the murder time and based on the newton's law of cooling okay here these are the considerations we are going through under this problem so consider here a time t is equal to 0 this is an first instant right the temperature is 34.5 degree celsius a time t is equal to 1 that is the second instance we are measuring here the temperature is 33.9 degree celsius okay the temperature of the room is 15 degree celsius these are the considerations we are having in this problem and normally we know that the normal body temperature of a human being is 37 degree celsius so mathematically this expression can be written as uh, d by by dt which is directly proportional to pi minus 15 okay here the temperature is noted on pi so d by by dt which depends on the time t so we can say this uh, pi is an dependent variable which depends on the time t so uh, the natural phenomena is the temperature depends on the time t so these are the thing we are uh, written in this equation d by by dt which is directly proportional to pi minus 15 okay so we can write this proportionality in this uh, in a equation by using the constant proportion k d by by dt which is equal to k into pi minus 15 okay when integrating the both sides we can get the solution as log pi minus 15 which is equal to k into t where c is the constant of integration okay consider this integration and uh, now we are going to find the value of k when time t is equal to 0 the c value is log 19.5 when time t is equal to 1 at, at the second instant the k value will be minus 0 0.032 now we can substitute this k value and c value in this differential equation then we can get that as uh, integral uh, log pi minus 15 which is equal to minus 3.032 into t plus log 19.5 okay while substituting pi is equal to 37 degree celsius we can get the answer as uh, t is equal to minus 3.51 so that is 3 hours and 51 minutes so subtracting the time from our zero instant of time 3:45 a.m. Uh, minus 3 hours 51 minutes so before the 3 hours 51 minutes the time will be at 11 54 pm so uh, we can find the murder time as 11 54 pm so consider the another example which is uh, now nowadays covid 19 is the one of the main problems in india right so here many people in our country are affected by this virus the person carrying covid virus returns to an isolated village uh, which is contained 500 people so it is assumed that the rate which the virus spreads is proportional not only to the number of infected people but also to the people those are not infected also so now we have to find the number of infected people after five months when it is further observed that after three months okay so now the number of infected people in three months is 30 so here these are all the consideration we are going to consider here let n y n i denote the number of infected people at any time t and n is the total number of people and n t is the time period so assuming that no one leaves village throughout the uh, duration of this disease uh, this is the assumption we are going to consider in this example so now we can solve this initial value problem such as dn divided by dt which is equal to k into n into n minus nt okay here n which depends on the variable t the here the initial condition is n of 0 is equal to 0 which means the conditions are when t is equal to 0 at time t is equal to 0 
n1 value n i value will be 1 when t is equal to 3 means which means after the 3 months the n i will be 30 so the equation is separable uh, the separating uh, which contains the separating variables we have d n divided by n into n minus n t which is equal to k into dt now we are finding the solution of this equation by using the integration so after integrating the equations we can get the solution as when t is equal to 0 the n1 will uh, value will be 1 which means at time t is equal to 0 uh, the number of infected people will be 1 from the equation third we can find the value as a is equal to 499 and when t is equal to 3 which means after the 3 months the number of infected people will be 30 ok by using this condition now we can determine the value of k as 0 0.00234 then the equation 3 becomes ni which is equal to 500 divided by 499 into e power minus 1.7 x plus 1 and when time is equal to 5 which means after the 5 months the number of infected peoples will be 205 peoples so the number of infected peoples during a time interval is after the uh, third month the number of infected people will be 30 and similarly after the eighth month the number of infected people will be 479 after the 10 month the number of infected people will be 497 so under the assumption and uh, as the people uh, from the village no one is going throughout the village and the considerations we are having uh, the people will be uh, increase uh, sorry the number of infected people will be increased gradually thank you all we can see in another interesting topic in the next section thank you